Hey guys, and in this tutorial I will show you how to compress a file using Java. So first let's create a new Java package and let's call this package file compression. Okay, now inside of this package let's create a new Java class and let's call it compress. And this class will have a main method. Okay. Now let's import first few things. So import java.io package and import java.util.zip package. Okay. Now let's create a method for a file compression. So public static void and let's call this method compress. And this method will have two arguments. So the first argument will be a source file, that is a file that we want to compress. And the second argument will be a destination file, so it will be a compressed file. So file source and file destination. And this method will throw IO exception. Okay. Now, inside of this method, first let's create a buffer. So, byte array called buffer. It is a new byte array with the length of 1024 bytes, that is equivalent of 1 kilobyte. So, now let's create file info stream. FIS, it is a new file input stream and the argument of the file input stream will be our source file that we want to read. And let, let's create file output stream. FOS, it is a new file output stream and the argument of the file output stream will be a destination file. And now we need to create an object from a class called gzip output stream. So gzip output stream, let's call it gzos, it is a new gzip output stream. And let's place our file output stream as an argument of gzip output stream. Now we want to declare a variable integer variable red, so integer red, and now we need a while loop to read a source file, to read the bytes from the source file, to compress them and to write those compressed bytes to a destination file. So while loop, now let's call read is equal to file input stream read bytes to a buffer. And as you can see, this read method returns the total number of bytes read into the buffer or minus one if there is no more data because the end of the file has been reached. So while read is not equal to minus one, we will write the bytes from the buffer using gzip output stream and file output stream. So gzip output stream write and write buffer with the offset of 0 and the length of red variable. Okay now gzip output stream call finish method then we need to close gzip output stream so close now let's close file output stream and file input stream okay so this is the complete method for file compression now in our main method let's create a file object so file source is a new file and the path to a file will be well, I have a dictionary txt file on the desktop and as you can see the size of this file is 4.36 4 megabytes or 
so on bytes and this is the location of this file so let's copy this let's paste it here you will double slashes and at the end add the name of the file so dictionary.txt now the file destination will be a new file and we will make it on the desktop let's copy this paste it here and instead of dictionary we'll call this file compressed.txt so it doesn't have to be a txt it can be any extension that you want so now let's uh, let's create a try catch block so try catch io exception e and if we catch the exception let's print it out so system dot out dot print line e and in try block let's call the compress compress method and put the source and destination as an argument let's save this now let's run this okay it has been done now there's another file on the desktop called compressed and if we go to properties we'll see that the size of this compressed uh, file is 1.58 megabytes and the size of the original dictionary file is 4.36 megabytes so about 3 megabytes are saved using this compression of course you cannot read anything from this compressed file because you will get just a bunch of symbols like this okay in order to read from this file you'll need to decompress it and i will show you how to decompress a file in the next video tutorial so stay tuned thanks for watching and see you soon bye